Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to like get ready with you guys and I know I've been doing a lot of voiceovers so I thought why not do a talk through. I am actually getting ready to go to a party and it's a beautiful day outside. It's very sunny, blue skies. So I don't really feel like putting on a whole lot of makeup today. So I'm going to do something really easy, simple and I just, I like to um, turn on the camera whenever I get ready just because I just think you guys might like to see me get ready. I don't know. And my cat just walked in here. She always wants attention when I'm getting ready. I don't understand. She always wants attention. So I did just get out of the shower. So I'm gonna um, start by using my Vitamin Enriched Skin Base by Bobbi Brown. I've been using this recently over the Too Faced Hangover RX because I find that this product by Bobbi Brown is better for oily skin types. Or the Too Faced Hangover RX is really good for people who have drier skin. And sorry for all the crap in the background. It was like cleaning day today, so I just got like a like I don't know if y'all can even see. It's like one of those Swiffer handheld thingies. I really like that thing. I'm like obsessed. It makes me actually want to do stuff and clean. Okay, and then today I'm just gonna use my Evermat Poreless Perfecting Primer. I'm not going in with like a super full coverage foundation, so I'm just gonna use this. I know a lot of times I do double prime, but. I just don't really feel like it today. I just want to stay matte. So, how's everybody? Ready for summer? I know I am. I only have two more days left of class, Monday and Tuesday of this coming week. And then I'm done for like three weeks until my next class starts. But whatever. And then what am I going to use? I think I'm just going to use my Makeup Forever Face and Body. It's just really light coverage. Um, it feels like you don't have anything on your face. That's why I like it. And I'm using a Real Techniques buffing brush. Just buffing and pressing that into the skin. And then just whatever's left kind of around my cheek area. Run it through my brows. I really need to go get my brows done. They are looking crazy up on the top. And I hate plucking up there. It hurts so bad. So I just don't. <laughs> And hope that nobody notices my like super messy eyebrows. And then I do have quite a few breakouts happening kind of around my chin area, so I'm gonna go in and um, spot conceal those. But I'm gonna let that settle for a second and go in with my. Um, start with I'm gonna use this NYX um, conceal correct and contour palette I've been using the Becca one a lot recently I'm gonna try to use more drugstore products um, the problem is that you know I really want to do like an all 100% drugstore tutorial for you guys but I don't know of a good primer and like I don't know I don't know I just can't find a good primer, basically. So it wouldn't be like 100% drugstore, if you know what I mean. And then using the L'Oreal Visible Lift Blur Concealer, popping that on top of that pink shade that I used. I really need to be studying for my exams that I have, but it is such a beautiful day. I just, I just can't be bothered right now. I will do it tomorrow and that is fine. You know those days where you just can't be bothered? Today is one of those days. It is too beautiful outside for me to be worrying about all that. I 
Okay, and then I'm just gonna take a little bit of this Clinique Acne Solutions Clearing Concealer. This is what I use to cover up my blemishes. Oh, I used um, this Expert Face Brush from Real Techniques to buff that on my under eye, and then I'll just kind of use that to stipple that concealer. That was a bad idea. Whoops. I dipped into that L'Oreal concealer, which is obviously a lot lighter than my skin tone. And then to set everything, I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier translucent powder. I had really, really good intentions, you guys, of using um, more drugstore products today, but this stuff is just so good. Like this powder from Laura Mercier is just amazing, you guys. Like, you don't even know. Especially if you have oily skin. It's so good. under eyes, I will pull out a drugstore product. And then to set my under eyes, I'm going to use this e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. This is actually really good, you guys. Um, I haven't used this in a while, but it is very, um, very high quality in my opinion. It's like pink almost with like little, like almost like glitters in it, but it's not, I don't know. You'll have to get it to find out. You can get e.l.f. from Target and Old Navy. Let me know if you've noticed that e.l.f. is being sold at Old Navy now. At least it is at my Old Navy. You know, like when you go to Old Navy and they've got that, um, all that like toy type stuff in the checkout area. I've noticed that they have e.l.f. products. Okay, now I'm going to go in and just do a little bit of, do I want to put on eyeshadow? I don't, I don't think I do. Maybe I'll just take a little bit, yeah. This is my MAC Cinderella palette that I got from that collection, sorry, it was a limited edition, but all of these shades are permanent, except for this black one right here, that's the only one, so you can get all these eyeshadows normally. Um, it's called, um, Quarry, this one right here, and I'm just going to pop that in my crease a little bit, It just add some definition to my eyes without me really trying very hard. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just not into piling makeup on my face today. I do have plans to um, film an essentials video, like my beauty essentials. Maybe I'll do that today. Maybe I'll do that. I'm going to a party thing today, gathering of people. Um, that's what I'm getting ready for. So if the sun is still, there's like, ugh fuzzy. If the sun is still out when I get home, I will um, film my beauty essentials products that I absolutely could never live without. Um, because I know I use a lot of products um, on here and you guys are probably overwhelmed by it. Sorry. I just, you know, like using different things. But um, you don't really necessarily need all of it. So I will go over the shades and the stuff that I think you actually really need. And then I'm going to go in with this um, ColourPop shade just with my finger. It's called Cop of Feel. And 
And that's that blend. I try not to do this, but it's so hard. I always think of that part in Mary Poppins. Michael, we are not a codfish. Close your mouth. Or whatever the line is, you know what I'm talking about. But whenever I do that, that's what I think about. Close your mouth, Lana. You are not a codfish. Um, and let's do something with these eyebrows, shall we? NYX Micro Brow. Yeah, I want to get that video up there for you guys. My got a little that little thingy right there. Lovely. I really want to film that video for you guys. My um, beauty essentials because I think that that's important. Um, so, ooh, maybe I'll do a what's in my makeup bag thing too, like my travel makeup bag because I am going to be traveling a lot the next few weeks. Um, I'm going to Texas. <clears throat> with my fiance to visit his family. Um, so and I will be packing a travel makeup bag while I'm down there. So that'll be fun. Let me know if you guys want to see that. Um, a what's in my travel makeup bag. Sorry, that was my telephone. Okay. Um, then I'm going to set that using the NYX Brow Mousse Gel Th Tinted Brow Mascara. Um, if you guys are looking for really great affordable drugstore products, I would definitely, definitely suggest NYX. Um, you can get NYX, um, you can obviously get it at Ulta, but you can also start getting NYX at Target, I noticed. Now my Target doesn't really have very many products, it's just like some lip products, some face products, and like some blush and stuff so and it's never really fully stocked they are constantly out of stuff um, so I don't know what the deal with that is but you can get some products there um, and then I'm gonna go in with this NYC bronzer with my Real Techniques blush blush brush um, but yeah, if you're looking for a really great drugstore brand that's affordable but still puts out quality products, I would definitely suggest NYX. Um, I mean, they're, everything that they do is amazing. I've never really had a product from them that I didn't like. Um, except for, well, I mean, it's not that I don't like it. It's just that it didn't work for me. Um, their primers I don't think are that great, personally. But my skin is just so oily. It take, I need to use, like, heavy-duty um, heavy, heavy duty primers in order for my makeup to stay all day and for it to not, not to just slide off or just, I don't know, I'm just such a grease ball during the day, especially during these warmer months. Um, so those primers just don't really work for me. Like this Becca one that I use all the time is like super glue for my face and I love it. So, um, and then for blush... What's this? Sure. This is the e.l.f. blush in Tickled Pink. If you're looking for a good, affordable blush, um, and you can't get your hands on NYX because you don't have an Ulta near you, I would suggest um, e.l.f. These are great blushes. Not all e.l.f. products are good, um, but they do a pretty good job of their, like, blush, their, um... That under eye setting powder is good. They've got bronzers that are good. Um, their brushes, like their actual like makeup application brushes, are actually really really good. Um, I have a lot of their eye brushes. And that is the cheeks done. I'll just do some. Um, 
Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray. I always like to go like this because it keeps my under from freezing. <laughs> I look ridiculous, but. have been so dry. I've been neglecting my lip mask that I showed you guys in that haul, but I need to use it. Oh, lashes. <gasps> That's crazy. I do this like probably about 30 times before I leave the house <laughs> just because I cannot stand my um, concealer creasing. So yeah. And I'm kind of over that, this mascara. It's hard to pronounce, and it's not my, my favorite. And I keep hearing people rave about this Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. Um, and I don't like having multiple mascaras open at once, but I'm just not into that other one. I don't know. I don't know. I just want to, I've heard really good things about this, so let's try it. Yeah. And lash curlers. Oh, no. I'm gonna do my little liner thingy. That just makes everything look so much thicker, you guys. I would do a wing, but I just... I don't know. I can't be bothered. I just can't be bothered. I just can't be bothered. And I'm sorry if when I do this I'm like super out of frame, but I don't have a viewfinder, so it's hard for me to um, know when I'm out of frame or out of focus. But I'm, I have to rest my hand on my makeup table while I do this because it kind of just steadies everything. So it causes me to like lean forward because I'm resting my hand down. This is almost out. <laughs> I should probably throw it away. Let's switch to this tart one, shall we? Maybe it's a little bit better. And that's not even. So let's make this side thicker and thicker and thicker and you know the process. This is oh, so frustrating. I feel like pressure because like I know that nobody's here but I feel like people are like watching me. You know what I mean? Like even though nobody's here currently watching me I feel like people are watching me while I do this so I'm like must get it perfect and it gives me like anxiety. <laughs> it's bad. I'm really weird. better. Okay. Curl. Here goes nothing. New mascara. Huh. I've never tried a mascara with like one of those curved wands. It's actually really nice. Yeah, this is actually like way better than I anticipated it to be because yes, I have heard a lot of really good reviews on this, um, just on YouTube, girls using it all the time, but my lashes are just terrible and they don't stay curled and it's just, most of the time when people really, really like a mascara, I don't really, really like it. Like it doesn't work for me. So this is very 
surprising that something that other people rave about, I finally like, as far as mascara is concerned. Huh. Wow. That's correct. Look at that. My lashes never look like that. Okay, new favorite. Move over, L'Oreal Telescopic. This is amazing. Like, truly. Holy cow. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. They're like, ugh, voluminous. Okay. Hey, I'm back. So, sorry, my camera quit filming again. Basically, it's the story of my life recently. I've been so busy that I haven't been myself. Like, normally, I'm really put together. I've got all my, like, stuff done. I'm really organized. Like, that is my personality. Very type A, very organized, very, like, on top of it. But recently, school has been so stressful that I've been losing things, I've been forgetting stuff, I've been like late, which is like so uncharacteristic of me. I've been just lazy and basically I have a 16 gigabyte um, memory card and an 8 gigabyte memory card. Well, of course, while I was editing, I lost my 16 gigabyte memory card and so now I'm having to use my 8 gig memory card, which doesn't hold as much stuff. So, I basically, like, really quickly had to, like, finish my makeup, and then I took the 8 gig that I'm using to film right now and uploaded it onto my computer and then deleted it off the memory card, and now I'm, like, back. I don't know. I'm gonna have to go get a new memory card or find the one that I lost. I don't know. It's just been a hot mess for me recently. But anyway, I hope you had a good time watching me blabber on and ramble about my life and about, you know, getting ready and makeup and all that kind of stuff. I do plan on doing a beauty essentials video. Um, also, make sure to check the down bar for more information about just anything. I always leave like cute little stuff, all the products I mentioned, um, as well as links to, links to other videos that I've um, done. So I think where I left off is I was like raving on about this, um, <laughs> this eyelash curler, not what, a what? No. I was raving on about this Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. This stuff is amazing. I mean, look at my lashes right now. They never look like this, like, ever. Um, so then my camera cut out and I tight lined using my Sephora waterproof pencil. It doesn't go anywhere and it stays in a waterline. And then I used, let's see, I lined my lip with the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade Cake. It's just a nice little peachy pink. And then I used my NYX High Voltage Lipstick in the shade Flawless. And it's just a really, really pretty nude. And when laying together, it makes like a peachy nude. So anyway, sorry my camera keeps cutting out. Sorry I've been like all over the place, which y'all don't know that I've been all over the place, but you know, my last video quit filming and then I had to like insert a clip of the lipstick and it was just like, really, uh, get your life together. <sighs> Anyways, it will get better. This will pass. I will be done with school soon and it will all be okay. And I'm going to either A, find my old memory card or B, get a new one that's even bigger so I can film for longer. And yay, that'll be good. Okay. I hope you're having a great day. And if it's beautiful weather, where you are, then I think you should go outside, you should ride your bike, lay it by the pool, do whatever you want. It's a beautiful day. Enjoy it. Always make sure to subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. Um, it helps my channel grow here on YouTube, as well as share it with all of your friends. Check the down bar, leave me a comment, all that good stuff. Um, this is very therapeutic for me. Um, I do it as kind of like for me type of a hobby thing, um, kind of like a self like wellness or my overall wellness basically because I'm so stressed out for school and then I work as well during the day and I'm getting married so I'm planning a wedding so I've got all this crap going on so filming these videos is very therapeutic for me and it's kind of like a brain break and I think it's really fun to just sit here, turn the camera on, play with makeup, put it on the internet and hopefully people will watch it and enjoy it. So subscribe, you know, comment, Share it with your friends. I would really, really appreciate it. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye. What was this? Why did I just do that? I don't know. Bye.